Hello. Hello all. We are live. We thought tonight we won't play our spooky, spooky music. And we would just come straight onto it. But then we changed our mind. We're back. We were just having you on. We like to play our intro and have a bit of fun with you guys. So we're on here tonight. We're talking anything spooky. We're talking ghosty. Yep. Anything you want to talk about, fire us a message. And uh, we'll just rabble on until you arrive. So maybe you want to speak about what it's like when you cross over. Maybe you've had an out-of-body experience. Maybe you've had a an experience of the paranormal and you've seen a full-bodied apparition we have seen a ghost an orb you maybe you've seen a spiritual light coming from above and yeah. coming to below yeah when did uh, let's ask a few questions to each other when did you first get into the paranormal what made you want to believe i uh, was for me was when i saw a spirit by the side of the bed and it was sitting on the bed and it was stroking my dog as I was a child. And um, I actually woke up and saw it. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, whoa. Were you terrified? I was terrified. I was pooping my poopies. Yeah, for me, I think it was when I was about, I can't remember the age, maybe 12, maybe. I'm not sure of that. Um, and I saw my grandmother behind me. But at that point, I didn't know it was her. And I said to my mum, she described her, and she was just standing over, over me, watching watching me over the bed. And um, my mum looked at photos and said, "Yeah, that was the woman. And it was my grandmother." So that was that was it for me. And that's when I wanted to investigate more. Well, and then lo and behold, we did. And lo and behold, <coughs> we did. Yeah. Now we spook every week. What was that? That was the dogs. It sounded like it was demons. The dogs fighting. In the kitchen. They play fight every night about this time. As soon as we go live, yeah. as soon as we go to podcast or anything like that, the dogs decide it's funny to kick off. They're as bad as the kids. They're really, really bad. But you can't help them. We can only love them. <laughs> so we're just going to share this into one of our groups now, just so you can see if you're missing it. Just because we know a lot of people keep missing the podcast and get them after we go live. But... We've had some spooky experiences recently, haven't we? We have indeed, yeah. Do you want to tell them about it? We were sat downstairs and we were in the living room and we were having our tea and we were watching the television and the television went off completely. It was like all the electric had gone off, but it was only the television. And then the baby monitor started to go crazy. Well, what we can do on our baby monitor is we can play music, and that's what we heard, and we were like, okay, nobody pressed that because it's got to be high in our house because the walls are really thick, so we've got it at the top of the ceiling um, in in the L room, and, yeah, it started playing music, and we were like, okay, what's that noise? It was very strange. It was um, a spooky, spooky experience um, that... You don't know what it was, and you're trying to explain it, and you just can't explain it. It's a bit weird. I mean, we've been to some of the UK's, and we still visit them, most haunted locations. And when we we go to these places, there's always something different happening in uh, each different place. Yeah, It's just never the same when you don't know what's going to happen from one location to the next. It's it's strange, isn't it? It is strange. And also, when you do do a location, um, sometimes when you come home, I'm not saying you bring spirits home at all, um, but when you do come home, you notice, I don't know if you're open to it a bit more, to the paranormal or to that side of thinking, but you, um, you notice a lot more stranger happenings in your home and wherever you go, to be honest. You do. It's really, really weird sometimes. Um... I don't get scared by it as much anymore. No. 
I'm used to it because we've experienced so much happening over the the years that we've been doing this. It's rather weird, isn't it? It is really weird, yeah. I agree. One thing I always think, though, is if you respect the spirits and you communicate nice with them and you don't, you know, you're not nasty or negative, we always seem to have a fantastic res- uh, response and re- result, especially with, you know, we're filming for the show and we're nice and we're respectful. That's when we seem to get the most activity and you'll notice that if you're watching the show and you've seen the show it's all about respect we never are nasty um to the to the spirits we're just always nice yeah we are and also um laughter we think laughter on set is a brilliant source to bring uh, the spirits through because every time we do it and we have a laugh and we switch off sort of thing from filming um, something happens, so it's all good. <clears throat> it's weird, isn't it? That's. Uh, but if you, if you want to get ask us any questions, you can do. There's, I believe, there's a chat page on here, and Julie's just commented and said hi, guys. Hi, Julie. Julie. So but yeah, if you're respectful, you're nice. You'll get activity and you'll get responses. We've been on public ghost hunts with different companies throughout the um, throughout the UK, and every one of them does it differently and. They always do it respectfully, and if they do it respectfully, they always seem to manage to get a, a response. And you know, if you maybe you've got a psychic, maybe you've got a psychic ability. Yes. And maybe you can communicate directly with the spirit world via your spirit guide or via your clairvoyance, and you can do it that way. Well, that would be a skill to have, wouldn't mm. it? Mm. No, that would be. I think that maybe a lot of people do have that psychic ability built into them. Yeah. And they just don't know it. Perhaps we're all born with it, but we just don't tap into it. Because it's believed, isn't it, that we we don't use a lot of our brain. We only use a small percentage of our brain. But a, so, lot, a lot of people don't, don't use a lot of their brain, do they? No, a lot of people, well, everybody, it's been proven, hasn't it, that you only use a small percentage of your your brain and you, you don't tap into areas that haven't been explored and and you could do wonderful things if you did. It's true, <clears throat> it's true. Um, if you are psychic and you have seen a spirit in your mind but then also seen it as an apparition... That would be so interesting to hear about. Yeah, that would so be. So let us know about that. That really would be. Have you seen what you have seen in your mind in physical? Has it happened? Has that ever happened to you? I'm just going to check the chat. So Steph Wilkins says, hey, you pair. Hey, Steph. Hello. So if you've got any questions, maybe you've got, you want to ask us anything about the show. Yep. Feel free. Yeah. We're here. We're here and listening and waiting for you. We have six minutes left. Before we shoot off and make a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to stick Ghost Dimension on. No, we're not. We're going to stick something. I'm going to stick Cory on. Or, or Lucifer. Or Lucifer. We've got Lucifer we could watch. Well, yes, we have. We've got a number of shows. We love watching Netflix right now. And we love, of course, watching Amazon Prime. Yep, I often come in from shopping and Sean's sitting there watching Ghost Dimension. And the reason I'm watching it is to test that the edit that I've done sounds the same when it comes through the television speakers. He often says to guests when they arrive, do you want to watch Ghost Dimension? And I see them cringe in the seat. I'm like, no, they don't. They don't want to watch TV when they just want to speak. I saw a comment come through and it disappeared. I saw a comment come through, yeah. Don't know what it was. It's from Steph and it said something about the episodes. Can't wait for more episodes. Julie says, Grey's and... Uh, uh, that's anatomy? Yeah. That's anatomy? Grey's anatomy. Anatomy. Grey's anatomy tonight. Julie, sounds good. Cory is good, though. Cory is good. Can't wait to see what happens to feeling. Feeling? Pat feeling. Okay. I have no idea who that is, but I've turned my head before and saw somebody getting uh, raped. It was a bit weird. It was horrible, that storyline, but it has to be done, I suppose. Well, 
it's it's getting late. It's getting to five minute countdown before my cup of tea is coming, and I can't wait. Mm, I can't as well. I'll have a biscuit with mine, and I'll have. Did, did anybody see that cake that I had? We do you remember those cakes? It was a Ghostbusters cake. Yeah. It was. Um, we had them at where was that Mill Street Mill Barracks, Street. and they were fantastic, mm. chocolatey, yummy, and ghosty. Shane Ward is still in it, Julie, but he's leaving. Is he leaving? Yeah. Oh, where's he going? He's going somewhere else. Doesn't want to be in Coronation Street. Oh, dear. Time's up. We took his missus on a, um, a ghost hunt. We did, yeah. Is it Lin- was it Lindsay or she, that? That's her stage Stacey. name. Stacey. Stacey, Stacey Austin. Austin. Um, <clears throat> we took her to Walton Towers with Brian Shepard. And he, my, Brian Shepard was a psychic artist of um, Most Haunted. Mm. And so we took yeah. the cast of Hollyoaks to Alton Towers on a paranormal investigation. And I tell you what, it was a good night, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Cold. It was, yeah. it was cold, but it was a fantastic investigation. And every one of those people that came with us, they left. Yeah, they did, yeah. Spooked, scared and yeah. changed. Yeah. Yeah, go on tour, I'm off to see him. That's what Julie says. So this must be Shane Ward. It, yeah. Yeah, to go on be, tour. Yeah. And I'm off to go and see him. Mm. Very nice, Julie. Fun, Very Julie. nice. And Steph says, can't wait for you guys to allow fans to come on investigation. Steph, we do. We do. Um, if we're doing a location where you are, we'll sometimes put it out on our WhatsApp, WhatsApp, our Facebook group. And we'll, you know, if you want, or if you get in touch with us and get us a free location, then more than welcome to come, alo- to come along. It just depends where you live. <laughs> oh, she messaged on my page before Steph ah, actually right. said, and she lives um, in a place called I think she was right Stratford upon Avon, below below Birmingham anyway. Right, okay. So you never know; we may be down if that down direction. There, yeah, we'll soon. We'll. Um, um, but Paul manages all the locations at the minute. I dropped Sean a message earlier to keep me updated. I'll remember and I'll keep everybody updated. Well, yeah, we definitely we take it. Every, people come with us all the time. Oh, people come with, yeah. We, we we like to involve the fans always because we're we're not making this show solely for us. We're making it for you guys. We're trying to find something out there, and so we we, and we want you to get you guys experience to see experience what see it's what like. We, yeah, to see what we see on a location uh, because sometimes it is unreal, and you're like, did that really just happen? Um, and so the, mo- the more fans that come on location with us, you know, the better it is because you get to experience as well and plus you get to be on a show. Yeah, there's that side as well. You mm-hmm. get to be on a show. Mm-hmm. And the last show that we, we've just edited there, wow. Oh, it's fantastic. It's a good one. Oh, it's it was another fantastic. good one on its way, isn't it? As Julie said, uh, Stratford, Stratford upon Avon is one of my favourite places and lots of historic buildings. Mm. Ooh. Well, maybe we'll have to check that out. Yeah. Summer. Yeah, summertime. summertime. We'll head over. It's a bit cold at the minute. Hey, gang, and that's Bear Medicine Hi, Water. Bear. Thank Hi, you for Bear. my medicine pouch. Very, Bear very good. Bear sent us medicine pouches, isn't it? They are fantastic, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, that was very, really nice. It was, and it's kept us sane, See, yeah. and it's kept us safe. Yeah. It's good. Um, oh no, there's only one more minute to go. Bear's just jumped on. Oh, well, you no. can listen back to it, Bear, and you, you can catch up on what you may have missed. We might have to do these for longer, guys. Because do you know what? We can. We can do it for yeah. long, but not tonight. Because tonight, we've got stuff to do and finish off in the edit suite before we can rest. Yeah. Got a good caravan park, too, says Julie. Very good, Julie. Very good. Take the kids. <laughs> Take the kids, Julie. Drop the kids off. <laughs> So look, listen, everybody, thank you for watching, watching. How can you watch? Well, it's because we're watching the chat. Um, thank you for, for listening. I'm just reading the... See you guys. Look, oh, and the baby's got to sleep too. Um, <clears throat> thank you for listening and tuning in. Yep. We hope you're enjoying the shows. Keep updated. If you haven't subscribed to the website, pop over and, and do that. Um, and we will speak to you and see you very, very soon. And a new show will hopefully will be out next week. And you can have a listen to that and watch that too. So for now, enjoy and we'll speak to you soon. Evening. Good evening. Bye.